now you have to, uh, you have to factor in Palutena's intangible factors and dash attacks when you're when you're swinging. That, like Little Mac definitely can um, benefit from from trying to hit Palutena during those. Like he probably could break through the intangibility to Palutena's hurt box, but it, it's the factor of. Are, are you willing to take those extra damage just to get damage on your opponent? So we're going to be seeing this one start off on PS2, the largest stage in our entire rule set, already getting the blue zoom in with that smash attack. And Etzel almost nearly common and combining into his teammates up tilt. Wow, parrying the jab there and still getting the down tilt right after. Very nice control from Orchestra there, using the intangibility of the back air and the dash attack to combo into each other. Great awareness with a down throw back air from Arkister. Oh, not able to do a turnaround grab there. Oh, and he got spiked into Oblivion. And Pit, reminding us he doesn't know how to read, goes off the top. Two kills on the blue team. And this is looking really strong for Jacket Guy and Mendez, especially with his KO punch. If you can get about 20% onto either one of these characters before that KO punch expires, that could be another oh, kill. God. All right, Auto Radical right in the face, gets hit by the dash attack instead. Chicken Cup dealing with Mendez at the moment, gets him off stage, but the arrow doesn't connect. He's able to side special that. All right, very nice. Arkister getting him off stage and holding him off stage with an air. Ooh, dash attack gonna send Little Mac up into the stratosphere there, not able to get him off stage yet, uh, uh, into the next stop. Yeah, both Jacket Guy and Argus are getting caught in Chicken Cup's near there. Auto Reticle will just hold him back a little bit. Meanwhile, Mendez patrolling the stage. All right, Mendez gonna get back thrown there, not gonna be able to survive with a light character. Catches him, just standing on the platform with the up B. Arkister allowed to return safely back to stage as the two of them were busy, were busy, I should say, with the opponent. I don't know. I, I don't know if you saw that little interaction there, but Chicken Cup actually held on to Mendez and used his four throw uh, armor uh, to uh, armor through uh, the Jacket Guy's uh, dash attack in order to get to Mendez. Okay, a punch again. Jacket Guy unable to recover, but with this he might be forced oh no it's actually gonna get him gone but the counter to make it back yeah a little bit too aggressive right there tried and true counter slip going through yeah little max recovery isn't great but if you challenge him off stage gets him with a google chrome all right gonna get him with a back throw there jack guy not able to catch him off stage hits I back off stage with a one two from little max out of a jump and gonna be forced to expend the up special early, leading to Jacket Guy's final stock on. One stock on off of Arkister, but still three to play with in total for the blue team. Now two more. Mendez very convincingly taking those stocks off of both Arkister and Chicken Cup. Now has to fight this 2v1 on roll read and neutral read. Yeah, and as soon as he gets off stage, that's gonna be so troublesome because there's gonna be auto reticles and explosive flames and arrows all around this to deal with. It's gonna be a labyrinth of projectiles. Now has to get his K punch off, no. but it doesn't kill. He needed a, at least 2% more. Back throw gonna send him back off stage. Is he gonna auto reticle? He does. Yeah, that's crucial. Down throw not gonna lead to the Palutena follow up. The up air is gonna carry him off the top. And a second one for the kill. Yeah, uh, and Mendes doing really well and holding his own there as well. No, no, no slots from the Jackie guys as, uh, as well. Doing super well that game actually, keeping it as close as possible against uh, convincingly bad matchup on on the spreadsheet. Yeah, you could really tell that Arkister in particular really settled into that one. Chicken Cup was sort of playing his game from the beginning, but they sort of developed their synergy as they were going, and especially when they got him right back down to just the little match, yeah. they were able to just completely harass him. Yeah, and as soon as Arkister um, was able to control the Sage, he was able to get the setups he wanted, be able to exploit the terrible recovery that both Little Mac and Big Dollar have. Alright, go ahead, opening up with a dash tag, Men is having no hold back. Up smash gonna be putting 31% after that combination of attacks. Alright, gonna throw out the shot put, but accidentally hitting Mendez instead. Very Axel. nice. 
Alright, gonna come back on stage. Let it Google Chrome to come through. Alright, getting interrupted by the arrow there. Very nice angles from Chicken Cup here. He's gotta watch out. Kale Punch on deck. He almost waxed the jacket guy. Yeah, not quite sure what Mendez was going for. Both Chicken Cup and Orchestra were off stage, just extended it a bit too early. I I would like to say he was trying to go for a side knee there, but he wasn't able. He wasn't able to get the right end point. Yeah, hopefully we'll just give him the benefit of the doubt there, but I can't imagine that was the intent. All right, Jackie, I just a little bit off on the upbeat. They're gonna get uh, get gyms. Yeah, punch about 70% charge, and Chicken Cup just going back into a defensive position. Now goes for it again, but just dashing back and forth, hoping that Orchestra can cover him, which he's unable to do. Shot put not gonna be able to help his teammate there, but he does get through the shields there and gets the up smash. Guardian Obatar is very vulnerable from the bat, uh, from the bottom up. Up tilt, popping him into Orchestra's neutral air. Down, or the up special meanwhile, the downward hit of it, actually gonna connect onto Chicken Cup as he's just being juggled at the moment with no teammate to save him. All right, very nice holding out on the Guardian Overtars on his recovery there, so no one can hit him unless they were below him. And the rising up is gonna catch Augustur off guard. Neutral later interrupting Chicken Cup with his multiple jumps, able to make it back. It seems like Jackie Guy and Mendes have made their adjustments here, and they're doing a really lot of controlling the stage. They're getting rid of the Palutena as quickly as they can, but as soon as I say that, Blue Team takes the lead, both Palutena and Pit doing yeah. their jobs. One kill with the back air and a second one immediately afterwards at the ledge. Chicken Cup is really the MVP of Blue Team at this point. Going to get these arrows here and it does interrupt both Jack Guy and then Mendez on the second arrow. Yeah, Mendez was forced to pause from his pressure there and just go into shield immediately to avoid Jack Guy's upbeat. All right, going to get him with a dash back there. Going to get him on the kill there. Who accidentally combos Chicken Cup instead, catching the wrong person out of that combo. Into the nair, both Jackie Guy and Mendez in shield, both in the nair, they're just gonna be traded back and forth. Pitt still looking like the angel to Palutena here, having a, a slightly worse neutral air there. And, but, that forward smash, not gonna take it just yet. Okay, a punch still there, but for who knows how much longer, f -tilt nearly killing. F tilt gonna send Jackie Guy back off to the other side of the stage, so Orchestra has free reign over this little Mac. Chicken Cup unable to get the kill with the up smash there. Very good timing with the side B to protect himself. Get up attack gonna force Mendez off the stage and the explosive flame is gonna be the first one gone. Okay, Jackie Guy trying to throw out his special moves here to get Chip, uh, to scare Chicken Cup out of throwing hitboxes. Oh my god. All these hitboxes here and parries the dash attack. Now watch out for explosive flame and that Nair gonna take it. Yeah, I like the idea of a down smash. It's just a Hail Mary option to hit both of them at once.